I'm in Lagos this week and I only skate with a 3 times 125 but as there is a great track here for training and uh, there is European Cup next weekend so it's quite a big competition maybe I will uh, try again my 4 times 110 uh, so I will take a little risk because I have not, nothing to really uh, make sure I keep the good setting so I will show you how I will uh, make some notes on my skates to make quite sure I can keep the good setting for my 3 times 125 so the first things I will do is I will try to make some mark here uh, near uh, my frame and my shoes my pen is not riding very good but maybe just enough so I can have a, a secure position and uh, remember where is exactly my skate I also have to write uh, exactly where is the screw uh, compared to the shoes so I can have the same setup front to back and uh, side to side so you, it's not only about the setup uh, side to side the front to back is quite important for me I and mean for everybody so I make a little note a little mark here on the shoes and it's little risk that it go away so I will try to make also a little mark on my shoes here just in case it's not like the perfect but uh, it give a little security for where is the um, where is the good setup for my uh, for my frame? The second thing uh, I will do to uh, make sure I keep the good setting is I will make pictures with my phone from the um, position of my uh, frame. So like this. I can have a little uh, proof from where is the setting so in case the marks in case the marks are gone I still have uh, the op opportunity to find back where is the, um, the good position to also make sure I have the good setup front to back I will also uh, take picture of this things like this like so I can see where is the back of my shoes compared to the place on the frame so it will help me to find the exact uh, position of my frame later on so I will also take picture of this just to make sure that uh, I can have always the same setup So now it's a little more safe. I can uh, take off uh, my 3 times 125 uh, frame and put the 4 times 110 frame on it. It will be secure when I want to get back to the exact same setting for the marathon this weekend. One more details I need to look is I need to check if my 3 times 125 or my 4 times 110 frame are exactly the same. I mean, if they are as wide uh, one compared to another. So I check this and uh, if they are the same size the same wideness then i can have exactly the same setting probably and if uh, one is more narrow i will have to adjust a little bit uh, the position of the frame so on one side i adjust the two frame so they are really at the same uh, position here and on the other side you can see uh, there is a little difference there is a little difference in between the two frame uh, the three times under 25 is little more wide very little more wide so I will have to adjust this or maybe half a millimeter and when I do the setting of my frame In my case, uh, I can. It's quite easy because I use two times uh, some power slide frame. At the back, uh, it's a little more wide, and at the front, it's uh, the, almost the same wideness. So it will be very easy to set up 
the front of my skate I just will just use this exactly the same setting as my uh, 125 but in the back I have to make sure it's really well centered because it's not exactly exactly the same construction uh, for the frame We know it's kind of irritating to change from uh, 3 times 125 to 4 times 110 between the competition. Some people have the championship, national championship or European Cup and then they have some marathons to do. And it's very hard, like Felix uh, Ryan and Bart Swing was telling in one of my vlogs, it's very hard to have two pair of shoes who are exactly the same. So most of the skaters we like to have one pair of shoes. But then we have this problem of having uh, many changes to do between the frame and uh, it's irritating to do and uh, people don't do it so much so um, you don't do it so much especially when you have no uh, tips or no uh, idea to make quickly uh, your good setting back so i suggest that you have good marks on your skate and a little uh, protocol or process like this so you can make sure you have the same setting every time on your skates because having the same setting on the skates, uh, when it you see it's easier to change the frame like this, maybe you take more the opportunity to change uh, one frame to another. And basically when you train, uh, sometimes when you're really tired on, uh, on 3x125, it's very good to get back a little bit on 4x110. Uh, you can get a little more feel feeling for the pressure and the grip in the push. And uh, it's a little bit easier to skate in a lower position with 4x110 actually. So sometimes when uh, your legs are a little too tired, it's not bad to come back on a track and do some uh, specific training uh, with a 4x110 frame.